today we'll be starting with a new chapter reflection and rotational symmetry now what is symmetry in everyday life you see many things such as suppose this leaf or this uh, mask or um, even this pencil suppose when it was not sharpened up when you get a pencil you buy the pencil from the shop it has both the ends are circular like this isn't it so these all have line of symmetry line of symmetry means a line from where if that part is folded in half or if a mirror is placed on this line suppose a mirror is placed on this line then you will get the image of the other half clear means if i keep a mirror here then in the mirror you will see the other half this the reflection of this and you will get a means virtual image that it is a single leaf isn't it or if you keep this mask in the middle if you keep the mirror you will see the other part in there as the reflection of in the mirror so these lines are known as line of symmetry or you can see if i fold this leaf into from this part then this part will lay on this part means they will just coincide with each other or suppose if there is a triangle like this equilateral triangle and i make a line of symmetry from here then what I'll, if i fold a paper in this way and if i fold a paper in along this line this will come in touch with this one and uh, this will be as it is and this will be equal to this then only we say that it is a line of symmetry for example suppose this m if i fold the m from here this whole thing will come and lay on here similarly is u b i can't fold it here because if i fold it here then the line of symmetry is not there but if i fold from here then they are equal or reflection of one another for this square if i fold this from here or i can fold this from here or here or here so how many one fold two fold three fold four fold so there are four line of symmetry now coming to h there are two because if i fold from here this will come and lay here this will come and lay here or otherwise if i fold from here this the whole thing will come and lay here so that means this is the line of symmetry it has two line of symmetry whereas this u m b they have one line of symmetry clear yeah. now if you see this moon also if you have this line of symmetry here then this part will be equal to this part or you can say it can overlap each other similarly for this diagram also you see if i make it like this cut it like this then they are two equal halves or if i cut it like this or fold it in this way they are two equal halves but this circle has many lines of symmetry why because you fold from any part passing through the center it will always be falling on one another so some of them some of the figures they have only one line of symmetry some have more than one as for this figure you can see they have two more um, two lines of symmetry this has a, um means many lines of symmetry un uh, uncountable lines of symmetry and this has oblique oblique means diagonally oblique line of symmetry or you can say it has uh, infinite line of symmetry now but there are something where which you cannot fold in equal as for this n suppose if i have this line of symmetry here what will happen this n will not go here and this will this part will come here isn't it this part will come here and it will not fall in each other equally or suppose if my hand if this hand if i try to fold these are not equal both sides are not equal similarly with this cup this way or this way these two are not equal or these or these are not equal similar is for the parallelogram if i have line of symmetry this and this part is not equal or even like this also this and this part is not equal so it's not necessary that all the figures and all the, everything will have a line of symmetry 
there are many which do not have line of symmetry okay now a line of symmetry is also known as axis of symmetry here yeah, axis of symmetry now, the concept of this line of symmetry they depend upon the mirror reflection um, you can understand the line of symmetry as a mirror line where if you put the mirror you'll get an equal reaction uh, reflection there now this line segment it has how many uh, line of symmetry you will say one no it has two one is this way you can bend it but one is falling on the line itself okay so there are two lines of symmetry a line any line it is infinite means it is it is not of a particular length so it will have any main infinite number of lines of symmetry because suppose if you fall from here you don't know whether this and this are equal it will go and fall here so these have infinite lines of symmetry now coming to an angle if uh, this arm and this arm is equal then the bisector then the bisector angle or the line that bisects this angle will be the line of symmetry that is only possible when the both the arms of the angle are equal in an isosceles triangle what we know that two sides are equal so when this angle is equal then if a line passes through it it will divide this and this into equal half and this line and this line we know are equal and when it is passing through it is cutting into two halves so that means this and this is also equal so in an isosceles triangle there is only one line of symmetry in rectangle as we told you there are two line of symmetry in rhombus which is a figure like this it has two lines of symmetry here and here in kite they have only one line of symmetry they cannot cut it here this portion and this portion are different but if they fall from here this portion and this portion are same in isosceles trapezium this is an isosceles trapezium it has only one line of symmetry this will go and fall here if you move it uh, one line from symmetry from here that's wrong a semicircle will also have a line of symmetry only this way not this way because this will fall where this doesn't have a circular part okay this is a straight part okay so these were the lines of symmetry for different figures now lines of symmetry for some regular polygon polygon you know it has to be at least three sided because two sided it's not a polygon it's not a polygon is actually a figure that is formed by different uh, lines for joining end to end means this and this line if they are joined here and joined here so there these lines are joining end to end isn't it so this is a polygon of how many side of four sided polygon so it is also known as square rectangle or what did what did i give the name triangle quadrangle okay so this is the lines of symmetry of some this regular only regular polygon uh, such as which is made up of 4 5 and 6 as known as quadrilateral pentagon hexagon respectively respectively they will have line of symmetry a polygon which is said to be regular if all the sides are equal and all the angles are of same measure means it is an equilateral triangle an equilateral triangle and a square are regular polygon of 3 and 4 side respectively all regular polygon have multiple lines of uh, symmetry in fact each regular polygon has many lines of symmetry as well. let's see that an equilateral triangle you see if you fold it from here this two will be equal if you fold it from here means all the ends this is all the points of lines where they meeting you fold from anywhere you it will be you will be getting the other half also so this is happening only in equilateral triangle but in an isosceles triangle we have only one line of symmetry but whereas in equilateral triangle we'll be having three now coming to square see if we fold like this this pull fall here so this and this have um, 
means this is a line of symmetry again this is a line of symmetry again diagonally there's a line of symmetry and this is so how many lines of symmetry one two three and four there are four lines of symmetry okay a regular pentagon how many start counting from here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten lines of symmetry sorry i have five lines of symmetry because i'm counting this arrow both sides so it will be having five line of symmetry this is one line suppose this is two line this is second third line this is fourth line and this is fifth line okay so there are five lines of symmetry a regular hexagon also you can count there will be six lines of symmetry now what are lines of symmetry and reflection now as i told before also that a line of symmetry is the line if you keep the mirror there we will see both the halves as a means one half will be the reflection of the other half and reflection we know is exactly same the in reflection we don't get changed image means suppose if i am uh, making a round here and if i keep a mirror here the reflection will also be this round it won't be smaller or won't be bigger so a reflection means it has same size same shape same everything okay now then we come to translation symmetry Trans in translation symmetry is what each and every suppose this part each and every point will move to its corresponding point this will move this this will go to this this will move this to see each and every point will move towards the next figure then this type of figure is known as have is said to have a translational translation symmetry okay